<coughs> Excuse me. Hello, every Simone, uh, buddy. This is Simona again with another video. Uh, hi, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is a nine by fourteen. Is that right? Hang on. Let's check it out now, person. Tell a lie. Yeah. We have a twelve. By 16, that's the size. All right, so let me just very quickly get rid of some of the air bubbles. I had to mix my paint a bit, my pillow. Should have waited a bit longer, but I had some time on my hand and the paints were calling my name. All right, I want to make one bloom roughly in the center, blow it out, hopefully get a little bit of negative space. So my colors today are Nickel Azo Gold by Golden Fluid. Okay, and the next one down is a Gold by Artina. That's this lovely bright shade. Put some of that over the top. Okay, then we go to Violet Vulture. That's a unicorn spit gel stain. Beautiful purpley color with a nice shimmer to it and sparkles. Just a little bit more. Okay. The next we have is the eye candy pigment. Pigment. Can't talk to them. So sorry. <laughs> It's called Jasmine. It's that nice light, light purple shade. I'll add a little bit of that. Okay. Next color is Golden Fluid Teal. Good old favorite of mine. I love that. It's just happiness in a cup that is for me. Not too much, because this is opaque. And I finish it off. That's a May Spring Pigment uh, Pacific Ocean. That's this lovely shade here. I like to drizzle my paints rather than make solid little blobs, but that's everybody's personal choice so um, then my cell activator I'll have one today is a mix of greenish blue and Prussian blue um, and that's mixed one part paint to three parts Australian Floetrol let me shake it up real well make me sure that this is a bit more in the center I don't really like it that much of center, not for that size here. I'd like it to have it in the middle. So I'll just stretch it out a little bit and push it back to where I want it. So here's my CA. Okay. Sorry, that's going to be loud. That's my hair dryer.
I'm happy enough with that. I'll just need that to sit for a minute. Uh, I don't really like to go ahead with a, with a straw and blow into it uh, if I see that it will turn out naturally because, well, maybe that's just because I'm not very talented with that straw, but I always think that my cells are wonky afterwards if I do that, so I'll try to leave it alone as much as I can. But if I see there's too much left before I go with the um, straw, I sometimes prefer sticking my fingers in it, it depends. Mm, I'll just give that a teeny weeny little spin and see in what direction the paint wants to bring me. Let's see, that's okay. I'll go a little bit further towards you. Let me straight. So, hope to get that further down there, because I know my center is still stuck, so I don't want to start tilting yet. Whoa! Because I know I'll just mess up my center if I do. Okay. What shall I do? Shall I wait or shall I go for it? Is the question. Okay, I just wanted to spread it a little bit further. And, oh, and I have something sitting in my paint here. Just a second, where did I see that now? Mm, I know I've seen it. Where is it? Oh, right here. So, that looks already rather pretty. It's always the question, will I spin or will I tilt? Tilting is difficult, more difficult for me, obviously, than spinning. So I'll give it one more spin and see where it one is, wants to go. And if necessary, I help it along and tilt a bit. Well, let's see where we are. That's not bad already. But my center, my center. I'm not happy with my center. I think I do have to stick my finger in there. And again, I overdid it with my CA. Okay, let me just grab a paper towel. Just a second. And all I do is try very carefully to keep my finger on the surface of the paint. Stick it in and remove. And you see, it's all the dark blue, so there was just too much of it. And I find this one of the easiest way to get rid of it without completely ruining my center. Okay. 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 Maybe one more here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, now I'm happy with my center. Okay. Now, let's spin that out a little bit more. Okay, well, enough, 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 enough. Okay, so. I want it a little bit more over here and a little bit further down. And very gently start spinning. And with this, you can adjust 
you see that you have too much white down here, you move your canvas in the direction you need to lose more paint. Okay, that held. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me see what we've got. What we've got. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's lovely. That really is lovely. And I, I need to know how much paint I have left. So I'll just grab one of those little dotting tools and I go somewhere where it's more white. <laughs> that is not very much. That means I don't have too much more playing room. I'll just show. Ooh, I don't think you can see that because it's white. Well, go in here. Maybe you can see that. That's the amount of paint left. That's not an awful lot, which means I don't have to lose too much more. I want to give it. Hmm. What do I want to do? I'll just spin it one more time. Okay, well, let's see, let's see. Okay, I'm going to see if I can spin it a bit more. I'm tipping it your way first. Yeah. Okay. Can lose some of that, more bland and uninteresting paint down there. Okay. Maybe just a touch more. Don't want to lose my deep blue lines there. I want to keep them. And now I'm going to just run off a little bit and then I tilt it back in your direction and that center is opening up really nicely. Thank goodness for that. So I want, just want to see if I could lose a little bit more of that really dark down there. Don't have too much more to play but I do have a little bit more. As you see, it's just slowing down my paint, very much slowing down. Okay, but I'm very happy with it as it is. So now I'll just put it close over here. And I give it one more spin. Hang on, where is my palette knife? I have a lot of paint here on that side. I have to collect that afterwards all and make a, tilt, a tinted pillow. But if I let that sit there on my spinner, it's going to go all over me. <laughs> and that I do not want. So let's just lose a little bit of excess there. Okay. And give it one more spin, I'd say. Oh, we're still losing a little bit. Okay, whoa, whoa. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, now I like that much better now. Now I want to lose a little bit more on the bottom to see if I can get that all a little bit more on the bottom. Just press it down here a bit. And give it one more spin. Okay, let's see, let's see. Yeah, yeah. I really, really like it. I'm rather happy with that. Now, just to make sure we're not. I just want to see if it still moves down the hill there or not. And if it doesn't move anymore, we're finished here. And I really, really like it. The center is really beautiful. Um, let me just lose my gloves one second, and then I shall get you down for a close-up. Hmm. 
I've just used those colors before today. I had a nice little paint date with Andrea from wearing your art on your sleeve. Really nice woman. If you haven't seen her um, channel yet, wearing your art on your sleeve, you should go by there and show her some love. She does really beautiful things. And she's a very, very sweet woman. Always very, very willing to help. All right, just a second. I hope, oh no, you can't really see that. As usual, I will make you a little video as a short so you can see all the details of it. Until then, bye-bye.